Hi everyone, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. My name is Tom Ryan with Provider Outreach and Education at WPS Government Health Administrators. This video covers completing Section 2, Item A on the form CMS 855-0. The purpose of the form CMS 855-0 is for professionals to enroll in Medicare to order or refer services. Enrolling with this form does not allow the professional to bill Medicare for their services. To complete Section 2, Item A, move to the bottom of page 3. Item A is for the personal information in the provider enrollment record. This information must be completed regardless of the action you are taking with the 855-0. Section 2 has items B and C. The instructions for these two sections are in another video as not everyone needs to complete them. To begin completing item A, enter the name fields. There are three fields and the first one is the required field. On the first row, complete the person's legal name. This includes their first name, middle initial, last name, and any suffix. Below that, complete the other name field if necessary. On the next row down, check a box to indicate what type the other name is. On this row, if neither of the first two options apply, check the third box for other. Be sure to specify what the other is on the line provided. Continue down item A to complete the remaining fields. Enter the following, individual's social security number in the next row left box. On the same row, center box, the individual's date of birth. Moving to the right of the date of birth on the same row, check a box for their individual's gender. Move down a row and in the left box, enter the Medicare number. If you're newly enrolling with Medicare, then you will not have a number to enter here. This will be provided after your enrollment is complete. On the same row, in the right box, enter the provider's national provider identifier. Be sure to enter the provider's individual national provider identifier, not or group or business national provider identifier. Last, answer the question, do you owe an existing debt to CMS? Check a box for yes or no. That's it for completing section two, item A, on the CMS A55 for help completing Section 2, Items B and C, or any other section, review the videos on our playlist. If you found this video helpful, like and share it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll receive notifications of when we post new content. Take our survey to help us improve our education. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.